Hello everyone, Don's Graphics here. Thank you for joining us. In today's tutorial, we are looking at how to design a night party flyer and also how to add a lens flare with the help of Just Pixel App. I know there are lots of applications that add lens flare, but today I want to focus on Pixel App so you will learn how to add a lens flare that gives your flyer this beautiful look. If you are joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to the channel and make sure that you have turned on notification so you don't miss out whenever we release new and other amazing tutorials that said i'm going to delete everything so we begin at fresh okay so you can see everything from the beginning so right now i want us to work with a square size just like this normal pixel app a default size uh, it's uh, 1280 by 1280 that is the size so you can proceed to click on import the import button here will help you to bring in the background so first of all i want to go with the blurred background all right um in the next tutorial i will show you how to add or how to blur your backgrounds all right so just make sure that you are glued to this channel so after bringing this one i'm going to centralize it this way and go to layer then you lock it up so this one is the blurred background but i'm not satisfied with that yet i'm now going to bring in the normal background okay so this is the background the original one i blurred this using lunar peak i will create a video for that a couple of persons have requested that already so stay connected to the channel because i will drop a tutorial on how you can blur your backgrounds or other images using your mobile uh, smartphone so right now we are going to size this up okay just size this up nicely then you use relative position to align it properly to the middle you can go to layer panel also and then you lock this up as well so after locking it up the next thing we are going to do is to bring in the image of uh, uh, <coughs> a party model sorry about that guys so we're going to bring in a model that i would love us to use so um this is the model it's right here with me um i'm just going to reduce this a little bit I use lazy position now so you know tack it to the middle so as you can see it's uh, having a blue color but we're going to play around with this image yeah? go to color filters make sure you have clicked on the image go to color filters and increase the hue by 180 degrees now you can see the image is blending with the background don't touch saturation come to brightness and give it a brightness of five and uh, you want to add the contrast to about 15 click on your check mark and you are good to go go to layer and then you lock this up so from every indication this image is just hanging all right this image is just hanging okay uh one thing i forgot go back to this uh, second background that we imported this one and then you reduce the opacity of it all right so let's reduce the opacity of that background go to opacity and then you reduce the opacity a bit uh to about 30 percent to make it fade up with the default background so like i was saying this image is hanging okay we got to do something about that so just go to your shape select a square shape go to gradient and now we are going to create a, a shadow kind of effect but it's going to help us for so many things so let's first of all click on the plus button and um, click here and here to set up uh, okay let's first of all click here the first color and here to set up the gradient so let's reduce the opacity of this color then you want to click here on this the third or the fourth gradient pattern now you want to click here on the um, uh, rotate or the inverse button to invert this color and push the black color to the middle then you shift this closer and boom we've created something like a shadow so just click on your check mark then you are good to go all right so we're going to change the color of this into pure black okay and uh, make a copy of it so let's let's try to increase this 
let's make a copy and I keep copying keep copying So I'm just going to copy after copying this you want to go to layer and uh, mesh them up all so select them and match it match it to form a, a single shape And after it must have formed this uh, single shape, what you are going to do right now is to, you know, increase it a bit. Just size it up. Okay. And uh, position it here. Use lazy position to make sure that it's perfectly on the middle. Now you can go to layer and you lock this up. So after locking it up, what next? Uh, the next thing that we need to do right now is to bring in some some light effects you know so i have this uh, stage light effects this is it here look at what i'm going to do i'm going to go to the erase color option which is here and um, enable the erase color but then use the color picker which is this other button to pick out the black particles select the black option then you increase the tolerance completely okay and uh, increase it in size and look at what we're going to do i'm going to rotate this and place this here then go to color filters increase the saturation the brightness as well and the contrast also to make it much more visible now copy it Please kindly subscribe to the channel for more other amazing tutorials. So we're going to rotate this nicely and then we position it here to this other side. Okay. So we can even increase it in size. Then we place it here as, as you are just saying. So let's send this to the back of the image or the light should fall below the image. fall below the image then you can now lock them up i believe by now you have seen how awesome the background has become after we added uh, those light effects that is the beauty of pixel up so the next thing that we're going to do right here is to go to text click on text select a new text and write friday make sure this should be in capital letters write friday and bring it here and uh, go to the font area and the name of the font I'm using is called the broken 15 font for Friday I'm using broken 15 font right then increase this in size and uh, use little position to tack it to the middle shift it up just a bit now go to texture and uh, we have this shape okay so just click on it and it will give it this awesome look all right i believe you can see that now the next text we're going to write is a bash so we have friday bash make this to be in capital letters and uh, increase this considerably go to your font area and the name of the font we're using is called the stretch pro font now you can make it centralized using relative position and you go give it the same texture like we achieved already okay now you can increase this in size considerably use little position to make sure that it's also on the middle so right now what we are going to do is to shift this text up a bit all right including the image Okay, 
so it should be up a bit because we'll need a lot of space down here to run other important stuff so we have friday batch which is the first thing then ne the next thing that we're going to do is to write uh, the venue it's at uh, cloud nine cloud nine launch so this event uh, the friday badge is happening at uh, cloud nine launch now go to your font area and with the we are still continuing with uh, the stretch pro front we're going to reduce this in size considerably use later position to make sure that it's on the middle and uh, just shift this down a little bit so after shifting it down the next thing that we are going to do is to bring in the a shape let's first of all select this shape a square kind of shape make it something like this and go to color change the color to red make a duplicate of the shape then change the color to white and uh, slant this across make a copy of it slant it also then go to layer and match all of them up go to your uh, erase color erase it up now come to crop and let's crop this out and we're going to reduce this in size position it here make a copy of it increase it in size and position it this way and we're going to change the color of this to white so that is for a purpose we're going to to be using that you're going to see it all right okay now so why do we need that let's copy this text we need it for the date so it comes up on the 29th Right, so I'm just going to use position button to shift this but white on a white surface cannot go so we're going to change the color of that text to pure black then we shift it using position button make sure that the text falls on uh, the shape then we can increase the size to about uh, 35 then shift it up a bit Now let's copy that text and uh, edit it out to September. Make it in capital letters. So I have September. But then we're going to reduce the size of this to just about uh, 25. Then we we'll align it properly directly below uh that 29th now we going to lock them up okay then we copy the september and write edit it out to the time which is 800 pm so let's just write uh, 08 pm this should be in capital letters and guys please subscribe to the channel so you are always informed and uh, when we bring other amazing tutorials make sure you subscribe to the channel guys subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel now that i'm saying people who subscribe to the channel they are not how will you know when we bring other amazing tutorials so please subscribe to the channel and uh, be sure to receive other amazing tutorials from us 
so obviously we're going to increase the uh, the first shape which is this let's unlock it and work it out we're going to stretch it a bit right just stretch it out a bit then uh, use your position button to adjust it properly then you can now move this text to fall on top of that shape okay so we were just designing you guys are not asking which uh which which organizer or which event organizer is coming up with this friday batch uh party so i think it's time we bring in the name of the launch so the name is uh, cloud nine just as you have already seen down there it's cloud nine event cloud nine launch so we have cloud nine launch events so this friday batch program is brought to you by cloud nine launch events um for obvious reasons i'm going to change the fonts now into Montserrat semi boot right and i'm going to reduce the size of this text considerably but then go to size and see what you are doing so we can just leave it to 20. now right now we're going to go to our spacing and space this out completely come back to your relative position and make sure that this is stacked to the middle so we have cloud nine launch events shift it up a bit then copy this text and write presents double tap 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 to write presents in capital letters as well then shift this down here and now you are going to use letter position to tack this to the middle like i've promised i will be showing you how to add some lens flare to make the design popped out that would just be on pixel app so don't go anywhere keep watching the tutorial to the very end and please as you watch subscribe to the channel for yet more other amazing tutorials the resources i've used here in this design will all be shared in uh through the link that i will leave on the video description so we have cloud nine cloud nine launch events presents friday batch at cloud nine launch and um, let's check in for the dj so let's copy this all right double, double tap and write uh, music so music will be by who all right let's bring in the name of the musician I'm going to position this here but then um i'm just going to go to spacing and undo this spacing okay i think we can change this font into the stretch pro font as well i think that is better good so we can shift this here have music then we copy this into the name of the dj which is dj spark what an awesome name so music will be mixed and mastered by dj uh, dj spark but then look at what we're going to do guys we're going to change the color of this you know color combo composition is one of those important concepts in graphic design i'm going to use a perfect red for this all right perfect red color then do some technical adjustments here to make the name fall out like what you are seeing on your screen so after achieving all of this what next we're going to copy this and write the address okay we're going to bring in the address so this event comes up at um, 237 central district central uh, district plaza new city 09 this is the address of uh, the cloud nine watch we're going to make this to be in capital letters then uh, for obvious reasons i'm still going to undo that spacing remember we are maintaining the same Montserrat font all right so um i'm going to space this out 
let's check if we can increase the size of this all right so guys we can increase the size of this to 25 click on relative position to make sure it's adjust properly to the middle and you can shift this up a bit and look at what i'm going to do go back to spacing this time around click on word spacing on word spacing i'm saying word spacing some guys are still clicking on letters click on word spacing guys then you increase the spacing to your desired taste all right i think 30 is proper um too much of everything is nothing so let's use later position to ensure that it's on the middle now let's copy this text to give in further details and uh, we're going to say for more for more inquiries and uh, information and reservation all right let's use reservation so they should contact a particular uh, telephone line which the number is zero zero nine eight seven six five eight seven okay so this is uh, the contact address make this to be in capital letters click ok and as you can see it's too broad we are also going to reduce this in size so let's step this back to 20 and use little position to ensure that it's properly aligned to the middle of our design okay good so this is it and the last thing that we are going to bring in here right now is uh, the the H restriction logo. This is it here. I will leave it in the video description. The link on the video description will have that. So all of this is exclusively for people above the age of 18. Okay. So um, it's always very important to include this restriction now onto the game changer how do you add a lens flare now because we are done with the text and every other thing how can you add a lens flare now to your design go back to shape okay we're going to do something similar to what we did with the shadow and um, click on gradient so if you did not follow up that aspect of shadow this is like a catch-up for you guys so just click on the plus button please subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel okay share the video like it out drop your comments ask questions in the comment section i'll be reading and answering all your questions so um we're going to use this third part foot pattern sorry i don't know why i'm only repeating foot or third this is the third pattern right this is the third pattern color gradient pattern so we first of all click on it and then let's swap these colors all right let's swap it so that the black color should be on the middle then we have this white or light color here click on it here and click here so let's go click here and here then reduce the opacity of this completely to zero click ok and you have your shadow now you're going to click here to draw this closer okay to the black color and what you're going to do now is to click on ok all right and all we have is a black shadow so what are we going to do change the color okay let's change the color into a color that is from the background when you look at this background you can see that there is a yellow light radiating from the background so we want to create that impact that impression that the light from the background is reflecting on this uh, on this model so i'm on this person all right so i'm going to go to color and search for that particular color that yellow color i'm going to search for the yellow color um this is it here i think this is too much so let's change it to this so i'm using this for the color okay click on the check mark and you have this so now look at what we're going to do we're just going to position it here and as you can see it's already creating some uh, lens flare shows that this light from the background is reflecting on the, the person you can as well increase this to your desired taste if you want okay just increase it if you want there are no issues at all with that so you can just position it this way but then you're going to reduce the opacity a bit okay can you see that 
so that it blends well with the background and now everything is perfect everything is ready so we can even reduce the opacity again just to about 50 percent okay and i think it's awesome so that's it guys uh the various fonts i've used for this design i will share them also in the video description make sure that you've liked the tutorial share it out with your friends it was really awesome um having you a part of this uh, design tutorial on dance graphics please subscribe to the channel like the video and drop your questions in the comment section i'll be reading through thank you so much for watching but as you go always remember to save your work using this button okay so guys save your work and uh, that will be it for today's tutorial thank you so much for watching god bless you see you in our next tutorial